Use this leader to focus the picture and adjust the sound volume. The film will then be ready for correct projection. Anything you do, it is important to be able to make sound decisions. To make sound decisions, it is of course necessary to have accurate facts. One of the things it is important to know the facts about is alcoholic beverages and their effects on behavior. But once you know these facts, you will be better able to make decisions and form your own attitudes concerning the use of alcohol. Why do people seem to have a good time when they're drinking? Is alcohol a stimulant? Do all alcoholic beverages affect you in the same way? Why do some people act differently after they've been drinking? Say what you do with it. What are you going to do with that? I don't want any more The drinking of alcoholic beverages is an accepted practice by many people. The older you get, the more you'll be exposed to these situations. How will you handle them? What will you do? The answers to these questions will depend to a great extent on your knowledge, your attitudes, and your values. Now here are some facts you should know, which might help you make decisions about alcoholic beverages. There is no exact knowledge of when alcohol was discovered. Winemaking probably began with the early Egyptians. We also know there were laws regulating the misuse of alcoholic beverages. During the Middle Ages, the making of alcoholic beverages became an important industry. Through history, people have used alcoholic beverages. Champagne toasts, for instance, are frequently used for festive occasions. <laughs> Offering an alcoholic beverage to one's guests is a symbol of hospitality in many places today. Cheers. While alcohol is used by many people, it is interesting that an estimated 50% of the population does not use alcoholic beverages. Although there are several kinds of alcoholic beverages in common use, they all contain the same kind of alcohol, ethyl or grain alcohol. Beer contains 4 to 5% alcohol. It is made from fermented grain. Wine contains 12 to 14 percent alcohol. It is usually produced from grapes, but can also be made from other fruit. Sometimes additional alcohol is added to wine to bring the alcoholic content up to 25 percent. These are called fortified wines. Distilled or hard liquors such as whiskey, gin, vodka, brandy, rum contain 40 to 50 percent alcohol and are usually made from grains, wine, or molasses. No matter which of these are used, it's all the same kind of alcohol. 
they all have the same effect on the nervous system and on behavior. The only difference is the amount of alcohol in each. For example, one and a half ounces of whiskey contains the same amount of alcohol as three ounces of fortified wine or a 12 ounce bottle of beer. Because alcohol contains calories, it has been called an energy source. But it is not really a food because it doesn't have the minerals, vitamins or proteins necessary for growth and health. When alcoholic beverages are consumed, the alcohol enters the bloodstream through the walls of the stomach and the small intestines. The rate of absorption may be slowed somewhat by the presence of food in the stomach. Under any condition, alcohol is carried by the bloodstream to all parts of the body very quickly. A person who drinks excessively over a period of time can damage his liver as well as other organs. This is because alcohol interferes with the normal processes of liver functions and can damage liver cells. Although alcohol is absorbed very quickly by the body, it is very slow to leave. It takes one hour for the body to burn up three quarters of an ounce of alcohol in the average person. Another fact about alcohol is that the weight of the person drinking it has much to do with its effect on him. It takes less alcohol to affect a smaller body than a larger one. That's why many young people are more easily and quickly affected than are adults. Now that we have seen how the body assimilates alcohol, it is even more important to know how it affects the nervous system and our behavior. Many people believe that alcohol is a stimulant. It is not. The caffeine in coffee, tea, and cola drinks is a stimulant because it speeds up some of the body functions. It wakes you up. Alcohol is a depressant because it slows down some of the body functions. It makes a person drowsy and dulls the senses. Alcohol is closely related to ether and can affect you just like an anesthetic. It can put you to sleep. Because of the first effects of alcohol on behavior, it is mistakenly thought to be a stimulant. Now this is why. The first part of you which it depresses or puts to sleep is the cerebral cortex. This is the most sensitive part of the brain. When the cortex is put to sleep, tensions are eased, self-consciousness disappears, and inhibitions are relaxed. People appear to be more excited, to be stimulated. They're actually starting to become depressed or anesthetized. I wish you'd stick around. As more alcohol is consumed, it reaches the lower brain centers, and the process of putting the brain to sleep continues. The brain is becoming more anesthetized. Controls that normally govern behavior are weakened. Judgment is dulled. Behavior after drinking an alcoholic beverage is unpredictable. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Scott. How are you? I have some beautiful news for you. I met this guy at the lifeguard, Terry, with this hanger on there, and I was... Normally quiet people under the influence of alcohol may think they're the life of the party. My phone number? I mean, he's better looking than anyone at this party! He's just... Alcohol can fool people into thinking they are something they really are not.
peaceful person may want to fight. Say it again. Are, are you just, are you catching, catching here? As more alcohol reaches the brain, it continues to anesthetize or put the brain to sleep. Muscular coordination is affected. Hearing great, is dull. Great, it was a great party. Had a great time. We'll get together next Speech Saturday. becomes slurred. No, I, I can drive. I can drive home fine. No problem. Sight is affected. As larger quantities of alcohol reach the brain, it is put to sleep. The person becomes unconscious or dead drunk. When sufficient alcohol reaches the brain, the part that controls breathing may be paralyzed. Death can be the result. Final proof that alcohol is a depressant. Because of their effects on the nervous system, the drinking of alcoholic beverages has created major traffic problems. Many states have enacted stricter laws about drinking and driving. It is estimated that in over 50% of all fatal automobile accidents, one or more of the drivers were under the influence of alcohol. There are many reasons why driving after drinking is very dangerous. It can cause blurred vision or double vision. It also affects your ability to see things far to the side. A person who has been drinking can easily hit a pedestrian because he cannot see the person. This is called tunnel vision. Alcohol also has an effect on the nerves that control your hands and feet. It slows down your reaction time. This slowing down of reactions is the cause of many automobile accidents. To complicate matters, the person who has been drinking may not exercise good judgment and will take chances that he wouldn't normally take. These are some of the reasons why it is illegal to drive while under the influence of alcohol. The sale of alcoholic beverages to young people is governed by strict laws because of these dangers and because alcohol affects young bodies faster. Most people can drink in moderation. Unfortunately, there are some who cannot. When a person cannot control his drinking, he is an alcoholic. Alcoholism is a chronic disease which constitutes a major health problem because millions of people have become addicted to alcohol. Alcoholism not only affects the individual, but it also has an effect on family, friends, neighbors, employers, and even innocent bystanders. People who are unhappy, insecure, maladjusted, and frustrated may use alcohol as a means of escape. Under its influence, the individual feels carefree and relieved of his burdens. Our attitude toward alcoholics should be that they are sick people and are worth helping. There are many agencies, including Alcoholics Anonymous, that are available to help alcoholics. The use of alcoholic beverages is very common and it's important to know some of the facts about them. Now that you know about the different kinds of alcoholic beverages and how alcohol affects your nervous system, you are better equipped to make decisions regarding the use of them. Just as you would consider anything that alters the functions of your body, you can now do some serious thinking about drinking. <laughs>